Hey everyone, welcome to All Out Brick. Today, we're gonna to be doing a BrickLink tutorial. This will encompass creating a BrickLink account and the overview of what types of things you'll find inside of BrickLink, how to add parts from Brickable to a wanted list, how to add parts by uploading a BSX file, and how to check the price of bricks in BrickStock prior to even trying to buy them through BrickLink. So, let's get started. All right, so as you can see, I am currently logged into BrickLink. Uh, so this is my BrickLink page right here. I created an account and named it for All Out Brick. So if you go to the home page of BrickLink, you'll see you have all these different tabs at the top. You have the market, which is where you can browse for different sets, parts, minifigs, gear, books. Everything that you'll be looking for can be found within market. It's what people are selling. Studio is kind of like Lego Digital Designer but it's BrickLink's version of it. It works very well hand in hand with BrickLink and the rendering is very, very incredible inside of this software. The community is just like any other forums and now that you have a BrickLink account, if you have one, you will be able to access the forums and ask whatever questions, view different topics and everything like that. If you're a seller on BrickLink, that is where you'll find this information. As you can see, you can upgrade to a seller if you want, but I am just a buyer. You'll have your My BrickLink and you'll have the wanted tab here which is kind of where we'll get into a lot later first i just want to show you a little bit of an overview of what the market does so you can either search for items or you can kind of browse by going one at a time so let's say you know you want the old ucs falcon the 10179 and you're just going to search for it everything that you got want is going to come up in here this is very easy to use you can also just use this search bar at the top you can choose which things you're going to be searching for we're going to search for all items let's say we want to search for a luke skywalker you can see that there's different things that will come up you can sort overview minifigs parts so that is how that is going to work now we're going to go right back into the wanted list because this is where you're going to be doing just about all of your buying is through your wanted list. So this basically tells BrickLink, these are the pieces I want and for this specific project. And then BrickLink helps you buy all the parts on the wanted list. It's gotten exceedingly better throughout the years. It used to be a very complicated process, but now it's very easy. So we're gonna create a wanted list and we're just going to name it. Let's see, we looked at 10179, so we're gonna put in the UCS 10179. We're going to look at that set and if you want a description you can put it in there. I'm not going to. This share feature would allow you to share your wanted list with somebody else. This is very helpful for custom lists. This feature is said coming soon for probably three or four years. I'm not joking so it's probably not coming soon. Uh, so now we have our 10179 wanted list and now we're going to go back and add this set to it. So 10179 you can see when we search for it, there's a couple different things that come up. There's parts, there's sets, instructions, the original box. We're looking for the set. So now that we have this here, you can see my wanted list and it says add to inventory. If you own it, you can do it like that. And you can add it to your wanted list. And there's also this option called part out. I wanna go through the difference between those two really quickly. Adding this to your wanted list would add the set as a whole, as in you want to buy the set. Parting out means that it will add each individual piece to that wanted list. So let's add the parting out. And you can see we want 5,174 parts. There's five minifigs. I don't know what the gear is, but I don't think we need it. If we want the original box of the construct or the instructions, we can choose to. And you'll notice for minifigs, it says you can part them out as individual parts. Basically what this means is if you'd rather just find the head to the minifig and buy that, and then buy the torso somewhere else and buy the hair somewhere else rather than buying the whole minifigure. I'm just gonna leave it as this and we're going to add it to our UCS 10179. As you can see, if you wanted to create a new one, you could just by typing in this bar right here, but we're gonna add it to here. The condition, you can choose between new or used bricks. Obviously used bricks are cheaper, but new bricks give it that new look. Match the minimum wanted quantity with the quantity found in the item. So you want this to generally be equal to one unless you're buying like multiple. Like if you were 
building like a fleet of something and you wanted to buy like six of them. Start your fleet. And what you would do is you would change this one to a six and it would multiply all of the parts by six so that when you buy them all, you know you have six of them. I've never done this, but I'm assuming it's very helpful for people making large mocks and just wanna buy all of the parts at once by making one wanted list. So now we're gonna submit for edit and you can see it lists all the parts. Right away, you can see that this is the part number, the part name, the quantity. They're a little bit off. You have to draw some diagonal lines here, but this is the wanted quantity. And I'm just going to go down and yeah, those are a lot of parts. And there's our minifigures. Same thing. We want one. And then what this means is they're alternate parts. So sometimes the parts can differ a little bit. As you can see here, this one is a little bit different. This one's way more expensive. I can tell you that firsthand. This one's cheaper and it, it does do a good job of that. Same with these so that if there is a part that's older and there's a new mold variation of it, you can swap it out in this stage without even having to look through the whole thing, which is very helpful in terms of bringing down the cost. So we're going to add to our wanted list. And now if we go back to view our wanted list, you'll see we have everything in here. We can choose to sort it in different ways. We can, uh, you know, choose, let's say we wanted to sort it by the max price. And what this means is for the max price, let's say the most I'm willing to pay for this two by two corner brick is 30 cents a brick. This would automatically filter out all bricks under or over this price so that you're not overspending if you have a budget in mind and a little bit more on that when we get into the brick stock later now you'll see this green button it says buy all so let's say we wanted to buy all the pieces we can choose our different filters the store location i'm going to choose anywhere because generally that's going to bring down your price because more people will have it store accepts the us dollar that's where i'm based exclude the dislike stores we don't have any dislike stores so that's not going to not include anything and you definitely want to exclude stores that don't ship to you these two over here, lots over your max price. Like I just said earlier, let's say that brick was over 30 cents. This would automatically exclude that. It's That's a probably a pretty tedious process to go and do that with larger sets, but when there's specific bricks that are more expensive, I would say that it's worth it to go ahead and put in a max price that you know you're not overspending. Because as you'll see very shortly, some shops charge a lot for bricks that really should not be charged like that. And lots below wanted quantity basically means you won't buy from a store unless it has all of that part. So unless it has, say, the 10 one by 2 plates, it needs to have all 10 of them for you to purchase from that store. I'm not going to have any of that checked. And we're going to choose auto select. And this will automatically recommend a combination of stores to complete our wanted list at an optimal price, including shipping. I've had some hit or miss with bigger sets. This tends to be a little bit more towards miss. And you'll see it just automatically going to sort through and find which stores will be able to build this set for us and trying to optimize how many different purchases are made and what the price of the different bricks are. And sometimes this takes a couple of seconds. So we're just going to let this thing go. Perfect timing. So that's expensive. As you can see, 5,000 bricks, that set is not gonna cost you $1,600. So what I really like to do whenever this happens is, if you look at this edit button, let's look at, generally you wanna be around like 10 cents a piece is like the ultimate goal. So if you wanna be like in that general area, maybe between 10 and 20, this is like 30 cents per piece. So this is gonna be pretty high. So what we wanna do is wanna look for how many items and for how much cost and try to figure out where's the expensive one. And for me, I'm looking at these two right here because 400 bricks for $300 is almost a dollar a brick, and 132 bricks for $300 is basically $3 a brick. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit this. And I'm gonna take a look at why is this so expensive? And as you can see, I have it sorted by price, and uh, they're charging a lot for some of these pieces. And you can figure out, see, look at this. I, I was telling you it's expensive, 12 of them. So let's say I did not like this. I would remove this from here. And you can just go through and remove things that you thought were way overpriced. Right. So now what BrickLink will automatically do for you is if you come back down to here, these stores are who have it in stock. So let's uh, see, I don't know, how many do we need of this? Select here, this one has it for $4. So as you can see, that was a great thing. That, we, that was just one click that we did that. So 
I mean, $4 might still be expensive for this piece. I don't know exactly what it's worth right now, but let's go ahead and confirm that selection. And now you can see we have 5,179 out of 5,179 bricks assigned, 100%. And then you just click Create Carts and you just check out of each individual store. It's as easy as that to buy parts through BrickLink. Now we're gonna look at how you can add parts from Rebrickable directly to a wanted list. And this is gonna come into play whenever you are looking at different mocks or something. Rebrickable is generally gonna have the parts list. Sometimes BrickLink will, but more times than not, you're gonna need to figure out how you're gonna transfer parts from your Rebrickable directly to your BrickLink. And I'm gonna show you exactly how I do that. I think it's a great workflow. So let's jump into it. We're gonna be on our website and let's go ahead and look at Walker Assault and we're gonna click on the parts list over here. And this link is gonna bring us to Rebrickable. So I'm gonna open that up. And now this is the Walker Assault parts list. So once this is gonna load, see that we can export parts, build the list, and this is all stuff within uh, Rebrickable. But what I'm gonna wanna do is, I'm gonna wanna click on this Buy Parts tab, and then it says Add Parts to BrickLink Wanted List. One disclaimer, when you click on these Buy Parts, it's gonna tell you how much it costs. Rebrickable always overshoots it by a ton. I'm not entirely sure why, but it just completely overshoots it. I think because it's automatically set to new for the condition, that has something to do with it. Anyways, add parts to BrickLink wanted list. Here we go, we're gonna click on that and this window is gonna pop up. I'm gonna log in. And we're gonna log into BrickLink. And allow it, this is the first time. And now we're going to add it to a new wanted list. I'm gonna call this Walker Assault. And now you can see that it's got the missing parts that we have and we're gonna add the parts. And now if we go back to our brick link, we go directly to our wanted list and boom, it's all there. Everything is there, just like that. It's so easy to do. It's two clicks, literally. You click here, click buy parts, and then add parts to your BrickLink wanted list. And then it's all in here and you can go through the same process of buying all, or you can go one by one if you're more of a, more intricate, you could like go like part by part and try to figure out, okay, this is worth this, so I'm gonna shop at this store. But I like the buy all feature when you're able to narrow down what is a good price. You're gonna overpay a little bit, but it makes it so much easier than ever, the way it used to be. So that is Rebrickable transferring to a BrickLink wanted list. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to add a BSX file directly to BrickLink. When you purchase any of our mocks, this is what you'll be getting your parts list in. And it's the easiest way to just directly upload to BrickLink from a, uh, an actual file. Obviously, if you can access Rebrickable and go through those hoops there, you can do it. But we like to include these files because uh, you, you'll see later how you're able to use them to figure out how much something's gonna cost accurately. So you can see we have these three BSX files. We have the base, the walker, and the base, and the walker only. I am gonna go ahead and go to want, and then we're gonna go upload. And now you can see, you can upload a file for your computer and it accepts the BSX file. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up and we're gonna drag the base only and it got accepted. And we're gonna add it to a new wanted list and we're gonna call this base BSX and proceed to verify the items. That will give it everything it's already built in in our parts list that the condition is used and we have different filters put in there to make it very easy. As you can see, yep, condition used, normally it would come in automatically as new. So that's all of the base parts and now we're gonna add to our wanted list. Let's go ahead and view that base BSX upload and it worked great. Everything's there. So there you go, that's how you add a BSX file to a new BrickLink wanted list or an existing one. As you see, you could have, could have chosen one that was existing, but we created a new one, B, base BSX. So that is how you do that. Okay, so as promised, I was gonna show you how you can check the different prices of parts 
before you actually go ahead and buy them and try to use that buy all feature to whittle down the cost. This is gonna how we're gonna do that. So we're back in the Walker Assault download. And if we click on this base only, BSX, now one thing is you need to have Brickstock installed. I'll put a link to it in this video description. It's very simple, it's just a download. And then once you have it set up, you connect it to your network. And as you can see, we're just gonna pop this thing open. And it gives you every 20 minutes, this little pop-up comes up. So here's all the bricks. This is the base that we just uploaded via Bricklink. This is the same thing, just that it's the Brickstock file. And this is the same thing as what we just uploaded, only this is the actual Brickstock file if you open it up. So this is what you get. And this is so easy. Once you connect to the network, you're just gonna hit Command A. Make sure your condition's in the one you want. I have it set to used. And if you want it to be new, you just right click and hit Condition New, if you want it like that, but I have it set to used. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go Price, and we're gonna do Set to Price Guide. And now you get to choose how you want it to figure out, okay, how much is this part gonna cost? You can choose from all time sales, the current inventory, or the last six months of sales, average minimum, quantity average. Quantity average, which I'm gonna select in this case, basically means that if you're gonna buy 16 two by two tile corners, how much does it cost when you buy 16, not buying one? So I'm gonna use the last six months of sales because this I like this better than current inventory because current inventory, everyone's trying to bump stuff up. But the last six months tell you this is what people are paying for it. So we're gonna go ahead and hit okay. And it's gonna go through everything. Prices of selected items have been updated to the price guide. And now you can see all of these have different prices. So it gives you the price and then the total. So right here, you're gonna see that it's 2.8 cents for each two by three brick and not applicable. Not applicable basically just means any color. So for those 16 bricks, it'll cost us 44 cents, 44.8 cents total. And if you look down here, this value will tell you how much everything costs. So all 2000 of these parts in the base is $162, which is pretty close to like 7.5 cents per piece, which is pretty extraordinary for something like this. Obviously it's a lot of not applicable bricks, so the colors help you out there, but still $162 for the 2000 piece base. And it gives you the weight too. I'm not sure when you would need that, but this way now we know if we were to go do the buy all function, let's go ahead and do that actually. Let's go ahead and go to our wanted list and we're gonna go to that base BSX file. We're gonna go buy all. And just to show you how sometimes this doesn't work quite right, I'm gonna choose North America this time. And I'm gonna go go ahead and do that. And this will show you that when you do this, don't trust the price you see. So $233 without shipping. So you wanna think about what you're gonna pay in shipping for those versus $162. So it's an extra $70 right off the bat. I'm sure if you went in, you kind of manipulate how to bring that price down. Obviously you're not gonna to get to that 162 because that's, that's just like in a perfect world but this does give you a really good idea of what you're gonna pay and it helps tell you whether or not your auto buy is malfunctioning and you're paying way more than you should. So I always like to do that before I start a mock or try to part out a set. So that wraps up everything today. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and it helps you buy your bricks much easier. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you wanna see any more of our future content and like this video if you like this video. Until next time, stay bricking.